Well, Dick sounded a whole lot like Vaughn Monroe, didn't he? A very talented mimic, as well as a singer and saxophone player. You know, introducing the walk show is just a part of my job. I also did the warm-up before the broadcast with Lawrence. And believe me, that was not a tough thing to do. The studio audience was already steamed with anticipation. Some of them had waited as long as two years for tickets to the show. Lawrence would come out and serenade the girls with his accordion, dance with a few of them. All in all, we did a pre-show that lasted about 40 minutes. And the charisma that was so evident when I first saw him in the 30s was as powerful as ever. You know, I've worked with many of the great entertainers of our day, Bob Hope and Frank Sinatra, Kate Smith, and not to take anything away from these performers, but I never saw anyone who could hold an audience like Lawrence. I think a part of his charm was that he was simply born with that extra magnetism bestowed on some people. And a part of it was his honest enjoyment in entertaining. He loved to be with them. And here he is again. I'm sure many of you remember Kay Kaiser and his College of Musical Knowledge. It was a big hit on radio and television. Kay's band specialized in novelty numbers like this one with the lovely Gail Farrell and Mary Lou Metzger. Remember? <laughs> Little fishies, look at all the whales. And quick as they could be. 